Well, this guy molly whopped me in, in a way that I firmly did not expect, and I also think the molly whopping might be second to none here because we did get taken to what I personally believe is one of SpongeBob's better stages. Oh, yeah. I hate to immediately talk about another game, but SpongeBob, he's very much like Mario in Smash mm -hmm. Ultimate. He's got the up air strings, he has the forward air dunk, among yeah. many other things. And when you give SpongeBob ladders, that damage and the up B already mm -hmm. on the top, he did it before I even could even <laughs> like get my sentence out. <laughs> Y'all see why SpongeBob is good. Revelo making me not even have to do the talking. Exactly. As you already said, bro, the ladders on this station go a bit crazy for sure. But see, and going crazy that we have to far, of course, that's my West Coast brethren repping the angry beavers straight out of Oregon. Hit the upbeat combo. No, not quite getting the kill on it. Yeah, man, that tornado, it's like pre patch like Tasmanian Devil multiverse-ish right there. It's got absolutely no lag, pretty much minimal startup. Uppy helps snap the ledge. It just does all the work for him. Combos as well. But we actually are switching to the Norbert here, mm -hmm. which is interesting to see because Norbert, I believe, is sort of supposed to be like a little bit of the cleanup crew, if you would, while Daggett is like sort of the burst option. Crazy damage up close. But off oh the top, my God. not even going to matter. I'm saying on Urkin, that platform is there. You're just done. SpongeBob, I mean, Mario Squarepants. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> God! Mario's grants is great for sure. Honestly. But, but nah, I mean, just like, again, this stage is getting in a perfect forum, dude. I think every time that Revlo is getting an opening right, he's making the most of it, though. Tafar kind of lagging behind in the stock, struggling to get this stock. 162%, not what you want to see. Not at this high percent, my man. He's sticking with Norbert, because I believe Norbert, like I mentioned earlier, is supposed to be a bit of the cleanup crew. Daggett, on the other hand, he's much more of the burst option he won. At least in terms of the character's fundamental design, he's the one that's designed to take on damage. Norbert's the one to clean it out. Using yeah. the assist in the logs right there, trying to combo off of it, but nothing doing. The platform coming in clutch for Revelo once again, finally getting the stock with the up throw, though. He does get it, but it's far behind right now, so it definitely needs a pretty big opening for sure. Tafar, no stranger to getting them, but Revelo... Just like you send the pace of this game, not letting Tafar play his game pretty much. Over and over again, and making beautiful usage with clean platform movement is Revelo. Not even just with those ladders off of the top, but also with just landing on them to ensure to minimize the uh, first actionable frames, I should say, of his attacks. Just making sure that startup is nice and clean. Good platform movement in a game like this. I mean, I'm an Ember player, so I know you need that good platform movement Absolutely. to be able to do anything. But with a character like on a character like SpongeBob with this frame data, this combo potential, I don't know, man. It's even more terrifying on a stage like Urkin. Now most definitely. Uh, the Beavers, they have the great combo game for sure, but it's definitely much harder to get it set up, especially on a stage like this. I'm surprised to see this go up game one, actually. Definitely going in very much in Revlo's favor. Nearly getting the KO right here. Has the far near the side right here. The Beaver Fever may not come through for the far quite yet, man. Yeah, it's only game one as that tornado can actually stage spike. Not prepared. A little bit of awkward timing because of the uh, way the frames of that move work for sure. Ooh, tricking the lag, getting the laser out with Norbert in the beef right there. Not able to get too much damage off it as we got Revelo up here back on the platform again. Up, down, and up again. Nothing Ooh. doing. Good DI away from Tafar. Oh, definitely. I love the mashed potato call right there. Definitely winding up with the assist call. Definitely getting better for sure in their placement. I like the mix-up he's been playing with it, but this might be a wait for game two situation. 145% on the board right now. Revelo can clean that up very easily with that down shot right there. Taking that KO. Revelo up 1-0. And that is some clean stuff from Revelo for sure. And I, I not not to discredit nothing, I do believe he was taken in one of SpongeBob's better stages with the ladders. But that yeah. doesn't matter if you don't know how to use those platforms. And Revelo sure as hell does. Ladders, resets, every bit of stuff in the book right there. Angry Beavers, bit of a tricky character to play as, oh, yeah. I should say. The character has a lot. Can I just keep it a stack with you for a second? Not for sure. Angry Beavers, I think, are... From a fundamental design standpoint, one of the coolest platform fighter characters I've ever seen. I hate fighting oh, yeah. him. It's annoying <laughs> as hell, especially Daggett. That character's buttons are crazy. Oh, yeah, most but definitely. the way the assists work, like already creating a character with assists and then being able to mix up by teleporting, instantly switching to the other beaver out of your assist on top of it, I don't think the devs get enough credit for how well of a, mm -hmm. how cool designed of a character I think the Angry Beavers are. But right now, I don't think like Revelo gives a damn. I'm just going to juggle this character like he's any other one while we're going to Rooftop Rumble for pick number two. Why do you think Tef, uh, Tafar decided to go here? Um, I think uh, Tafar kind of strives, thrives in a sort of scramble scenario, so definitely hoping to get more of those. Of course, it's a more claustrophobic stage. That'll happen a lot more. Especially that uh, lower top blast zone too, man. The uh, platform encouraging them too. For his aggressive play style, I think it works very well for him. At the same time, Revelo looking very clean on this stage as well, man. 
smaller stage, more aggression is the name of the game. And on top of that, edge guarding as well. I have a feeling that Mashed Potatoes is going to be pretty strong out of an edge guarding tool for oh, a yeah. character whose recovery is as sort of linear as SpongeBob's is. All I right. should say. Yeah, he just has a side beat up. He does not go too high for sure. Definitely can get some going for sure. But right now, so far, again, a Ooh. big combo going. This is what he needs for sure. I like the assist to cover the four strong ball. So many layers to the pressure <laughs> so far as we're hiding right now. Yo, why are you shielding? It doesn't matter if you shield my smashes. It does not matter <laughs> if you doesn't. shield my strong attack, my guy. I got potatoes on deck. Nah, bro. He thought we was playing. We're uh, Idaho out bro. here. <laughs> he thought he was playing. Now he's playing Marvel out here, bro. <laughs> it, it's not. It, it's. That's what I'm saying. It's like Angry Beavers. It's like a Marvel character in this game. It's he's so cool. It's so cool for sure. I'm definitely very glad to see Tafar repping this character very well. The side B, as he said, the edge guard with the side B coming forward, and the nair off the side. Okay, Tafar getting back in the set. Got the vacation outfit as well, saying this win's gonna be leisureless. Or leisurely, I should say. I messed up that joke. Whatever. Let's just keep it going. I, got it, I, got it. I, feel it, I know I feel you it. did, but <laughs> yeah, it's whatever. <laughs> Switching to Daggett right here to try to build up some damage. Daggett is the crazy Ooh. one. His frame data, his combo yeah. potential, as well as his burst option, as I believe. Uh, I think that's his. I forget which move it is. I think it's his strong forward air, that sort of yeah, like yeah. dragon kick that he has in the air. Yeah. That move is crazy. It it's comes out so mad good. fast. It's pretty much unreactable as yeah. well. It's it's a very difficult move to deal with. Doesn't even matter if you got the good movement of SpongeBob. Trying to ladder off the top mm -hmm. to be able to make this back, but already almost lapping in percent is Tafar with a reset Ooh. once again. There's that move I was talking about. <laughs> off the top, nothing doing. So I love what I'm seeing from Tafar right now. Again, very much praying off these scramble scenarios, catching up. Grevelo off guard all the time and making these hits count wherever he gets them right now, bro. Again, as he said, nearly lapped in for, in for stocks right now. That should be the back throw, up throw to end it. Not quite. Slime cancel, um, uh, the slime cancel knockback penalty still regained, so didn't get to get that kill, but it can still definitely clean this up very easily if he gets a hit. Grevelo definitely try to get some extra credit, though. Maybe not the up throw coming out because the lower single in the stage, that would definitely kill. Up off the top, this is rooftop, baby. Claustrophobic in size and blast zones, if I'm not mistaken. You got big hitboxes, this is definitely one of the better stages to take him on. Unfortunately, messing up his regrab, gonna be some big damage, buffing himself real quick. Unfortunately, not able to get full off that reset, but it's not gonna matter. Just the sheer speed of Dagon and the mashed potato assist. I think mashed potatoes is pretty crazy, a very underrated it's move. So good. Oh, that killed? We're Taz out here. Jeez, that, that had to be bad DI right there, bro. That was amazing, amazing stuff from so far, dude, man. These, this beaver play, very, very impressive. And you're just getting sent to far off the blast zone, man. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Uh, that was clear. <laughs> <laughs> Is he zooming in? Yeah, we need the individual hits of the move he's already getting hit by. Right there. <laughs> I'm messing with yeah. you, man. It's I'm, I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm no, kidding. definitely seemed like bad DI for sure on that. But I mean, who can blame him, man? That was definitely a very rough spot to be in for sure. But so far, man, again, once he gets that pressure, man, he just clamps down on you so, so hard for sure whenever oh, he gets yeah. a hit. Three, two, one. Man, that was that was a good counter pick. Game number two, sticking with the Beavers. That was definitely. Oh, important to note, by the way, to get here, so far actually made the upset over Cake Assault. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's a. That's a hell of a W to take in Nasby too so far. Cake Assault, definitely one of the best players in the game so far. Absolutely. Yeah. Out here repping the Angry Beavers here in Winner's Quarter side. We are on Technodrome this time. This stage can be a little polarizing because like, I feel yeah. like if you rely on platforms, it's not the best for you considering they're spaced only on the side. Yeah. I feel like characters with like good aerial momentum and like fight better in the air than on the ground, like say Squidward usually do pretty good on that stage. Yeah, Squidward so loves the stage. interesting to see SpongeBob get the counter pick right here. I do believe Dave's stupid rule is in fact on, so he cannot yeah. go back to Urkin. Yeah, of So. Course. This is this one's an interesting one. I, I'm gonna have to watch this to figure out why Technodrome is the better pick for SpongeBob here. Yeah, honestly, I'm not kidding. I'm not sure either. Right now, it's looking all to far. Right now, it's looking into the far show. So much pressure with these very mad beavers. Yeah, these these beavers are definitely like Ugh. these beavers are like Twitter mad right now. <laughs> these beavers are like Twitter pissed right now. Like, yo, just put the phone down. It's, it's not worth it. You don't even know this person. Nah, they are typing on that joint right now. <laughs> Revelo struggling to fight back right there. Misses the forward air confirm. It's only going to take a pretty hefty punish. No! Tafar misses it, up airs out, but still has the burst to get out of that scenario. Yeah, saving those double bars right there. Can, in fact, get out of combos with that. Beautiful mechanic implemented into the great game in Asby 2. Now it's the edge guard. Wonderful job avoiding the mashed potatoes there. That was really good platform movement on the part of Revelo. Ooh. Immediately jumping off the platform. Borderline getting an A landing. 
to get his way back onto there. That was really slick yeah. on the part of Revlo. That's not an easy move to get away from on the ledge. Oh, yeah, not at all, for sure. It's a far, man. The advantage state is looking very nice. The back air will definitely take it for Revlo, but as only the first stock 100% on him, Revlo needs a big confirm. This might be it, though. Getting the up air, he can definitely get mad combos. Missed the, re miss the spike, but still got the re-grab. It's the reset. I mean, hey, that didn't finish the full combo, but that's clean damage. That's all he needs at the end of the day. Yeah, 52 definitely just wants to claw his way back in here. He's fair and swiping that air a little bit. Gain a lot of trades, but definitely needs to get these solid hits off. The up B again, a great, another great uh, burst scramble option right there. Like the way that back, back throw. <laughs> the air dodge instead. He recognized that he was a little too far away to get the tornado yeah. off the top right there and actually uh. hesitated off the laser. Ooh, flexed on him, bro. So far, trying to give everybody beaver fever right now, bro. Trying to upset not only Cake Assault, but Revlo as well would be really crazy. Uh, yeah, and I got to say, sticking with the Dagon for the most part to build up the damage here, not just because of Dagon's like, brain data and his crazy movement. It's also, and I, dare I say, I do think Norbert's assists are better. If yeah. I mean that, mashed potatoes for the edge guards, laser for like mid combo strings. Daggets are great too, don't get me wrong. Right. But those are more just for racking up damage oh. rather than just raw positioning. Which is exactly. Oh see, my god! How you can't just scoop with a multi hit like that with Daggett's assist on the other way around. 124 damage? I blinked, bro. Bro, you had some far going a crazy with the combo game right now, though. Revelo getting a little confirmed from his own, but it's not quite enough. So far, has so much damage on the board already. Try to get the air up strong. That would be crazy for sure. But still, Revelo in a very rough spot near this corner at 144%. So far, going out a lot of options. Up strong, the burst will come out right there. So far, I mean, Revelo, one more release on life. Air up strong, not quite, bro. Again, has the burst. Good meter management from Tafar. And a really, really good meter management. He used the burst for when he needed to for the strong hit and then recognized he was in a situation where Revelo couldn't do it again. So no need to save it this time. The resource management there and that beef hit of the moment, that is absolutely crazy. Is the up throw Ugh, just going to kill it, that tail whip. Wow! The kill Wait. throw. We ain't top eight yet. This is best of three. This We're is done. Best of three is done, bro. So far, Woo. West Coast top eight. Oh boy! Winner side. I'm proud of my boy. Definitely uh, proud of my boy. Damn. We gotta get. We gotta get. We gotta get more of my East Coast hitters out here. But hopefully that'll happen later on in the bracket. Beautiful up throw off Techno Drum right there. Yeah. We start popping off. Top eight secured. On the part of this Angry Beavers player taking out Cake Assault, you said on the way take to get out, there? Yeah, take a, Cake Assault and Revel. Those are crazy, crazy wins <laughs> for the bro right now. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> the way this is going, man, I, I, we might all catch Beaver Fever. I thought they were gonna. <laughs> I thought there were gonna be all sorts of diseases spreading it, like you know, like one of these big events. You know, people are probably gonna leave here with COVID eventually. Maybe nah. a little RSV out here because it's a big, uh, like, convention event. Yeah. You know how it goes. It's Beaver Fever. It's Beaver That's Fever, the one. bro. That's the new one. I said, bro, again, it was just so impressive, man. That's like, what I love about Tafar's gameplay. Not only from, came from Nasby 1, of course, he kind of saw similar stuff. He played like PTM in that game. Just like whenever he got that pressure started, 